Okay, I wanted to do a video uh, on uh, the autopilot warning. I'm going to try to, um, well, well, let's turn it on first. So I'm on a highway, relatively straight, some turns. So I just turned it on. Uh, notice also that it remembers your speed on that road. So it went to uh, 80. Uh, and um, the... Uh, what I'm going to do in this example, uh, we've been noticing about a three-minute warning. Um, throughout this uh, video, I'm going to try to adjust my speed, change lanes, basically give uh, the car knowledge that I am alive uh, and see if it uh, affects the three-minute warning period, roughly three-minute warning period. So, for example, here I'm going to... Uh, adjust my speed down a little. I think I'm about uh, a few minutes in and then uh, maybe it adjust it up. So uh, we'll try a few things uh, every 30 seconds or so, changing lanes and adjusting speed to see if this affects the three minute warning period that typically shows up. Somebody asked that in a comment on one of my previous videos. So once we pass this car, maybe I'll change lanes uh, around the uh, two minute period here. So we're going to passing that car, I'll put on the blinker pass it a little better here. Make sure it's well past the car. Actually, you know what? We're going to wait till we pass this uh, truck. In the meantime, I'm going to adjust my speed down and adjust it back up. Again, just to give it some knowledge that I'm awake and driving. I've not touched the wheel since... Um, Okay, so I'm going to change lanes just by putting the blinker on. The car changed lanes by itself. Uh, I'm going to try to be a little bit more uh, entertaining or lively. Somebody commented that my, my monotone voice. I guess I just talked too uh, softly. Okay, so we are approaching the three minute mark here. Let me change lanes again. don't know exactly what my time is, but I'm close to three minutes, I believe. And uh, I'll slow down a little speed-wise, speed it back up. So far, no warning, and I am going into a turn here. Sometimes the turns affect my uh, warning speed, uh, warning time. Car is doing great. So I keep adjusting my speed. I've changed lanes twice. And so far, no warning. Let's change lanes again. You do have to look to see if the car, if you're clear to change lanes. Um, I should do another video on. Uh, this is uh, Hardware One, by the way, AP One. So I think I am uh, over three minutes in, and I've got no warning so far. Let me adjust my speed a little bit. And I have not touched the wheel or the pedals since I turned it on. Adjusting the speed again. So the uh, person who commented on whether adjusting speed or doing things with the car lets the car know or affects the period that you get warned to grab the wheel uh, does seem to be true. lanes again. I wonder how long. 
could extend this. Maybe tomorrow morning I'll do a um, test again just to confirm the three minute period without, on the same stretch of road, without um, changing speed or changing lanes and uh, confirm that I get about every three minutes a warning. So this is uh, pretty interesting. My phone might run out of power here, so we'll see if, um, how long I can do this for. But it is pretty interesting. Let's change lanes again. I've gone uh, close to six minutes now. My, uh, I can read my phone. I'm also going to try to get a, a mic. Someone said that uh, my voice is not uh, being picked up that great. I've been making all these videos just with my cell phone. I have a Galaxy 7 a a Edge. And... Uh, I guess I need to invest in a maybe a GoPro and a, a better mic. But uh, I think the videos come out pretty well. I just hold the phone <laughs> uh, as I let the car do its thing. So it's doing really well here. No warning. It's probably the long. So that was almost seven minutes without a warning by just changing speeds and changing lanes. So I guess the Tesla uses these interactions as confirmation that you're alert and delays the periodic warnings that are usually every three minutes or so. If you like the work I do on this channel, please don't forget to subscribe by clicking on that handsome guy at the bottom of the screen. And if you really like the channel, you can always donate to it on my Patreon page that's also listed at the bottom wanted to give a shout out to my uh, son's YouTube channel, The Nerd Writer. He does some very insightful video essays. I think you'll like them. His video on Black Mirror this week was pretty interesting. Check it out.